So feel free to take a piece of paper out of this. Are they all different? Yes, okay, okay. they're all different and, and read it out. Killing animals for food is morally wrong. Do you agree or disagree with that statement? I, I would disagree with that. How confident are you in the stance that you disagree with that statement on a scale of zero to 100%? 60%, I'll 60%, say. Okay. What comes to mind if I ask you, like, well, why? why? Why are you confident or why are you 60% confident that it's, it's not true that it's wrong to kill animals for food in the Western world? Um... I read uh, about um, uh, tribes that thank, uh, or people even, that thank uh, the animal for their life, or recognize that where you take for something, there's to be some sort of like honoring of it or recognition of it. I think that's important in all we do. You think it's important that uh, people are thankful for the animal that has died um, and really appreciate it, as opposed to sort of maybe what we see in Western culture where we just eat it and McDonald's like it's nothing, 99p, and, and don't yeah. really think about it. Yeah. Um, why, why do you think that that is important? I mean, do you think do you think that it makes a difference to the experience of the animal at all? So what I read, they say that. Um, energetically that it, there is a difference I, I I don't know I mean if it's the same thank you after the effect I don't know right, that. Yeah. but if the, I don't know how you can sort of like yeah <laughs> sweetly gaze into someone's <laughs> eyes as you stab them to death or something I'm not sure how that works do you think that we have a necessity to to consume animals for for health in like in the Western world Yes, just for the fact that we have very, most people have very little knowledge of what else they could eat to, you know, to live off. Mm. I think, yeah. Yeah. If people were educated about other alternatives, do you think it would become unnecessary to, to kill animals for food? Even the people who have an abundance of everything else, in I'm talking again about people who live off the land. Yeah. Um, and I'm not talking about people who live like in jungles or things, but I mean farming people or who live off the land, not to sell to others, but that's how they live, you know, like the settlers or people, whatever. Uh, they didn't just only eat tomatoes or, or you know, um, guavas or something. They, they would eat uh, an, uh, a chicken's egg or they would eat uh, the goat or they would make the clothing from the animals. So, yes, they, they would... I think they would still need to eat animals. Do, do, do you think that because... Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. fine. Uh, yeah, uh, the, because farmers in areas where they're sort of cut off from the rest of society and self-sustaining, because they used animals uh, for their skins and for their, their meat and dairy and eggs, do you think that necessarily means that we need to because they, because they did so? Or could it be true that they, they did that and we actually don't need to, and they didn't need to. Could that be true? Um, you, s I, I, you sort of lost me. Sorry, yeah, no, so... No, I, I got the question, but I think I sort of... Uh, I, I think I have nothing else to say. That's fine, <laughs> let me... That makes sense. Yeah. I, as soon as you ask me that question, I sort of like, no, that's all got to... Oh no! Yeah, no. I understand how that that feeling. Some, sometimes, now. sometimes you go down a, you go down a route and you're yeah, like, and like, well, actually, that doesn't quite make sense. I mean, I uh, yeah. What if what if I was to change the statement to killing humans for food is is morally wrong? Would you how how would your position change there? If one was about to kill a human, right. and you said, please stop, don't do this. Yeah. They they're, they're innocent. They don't want to die. And they said, I I get a lot of pleasure from from this. Oh, I see. So like um. Please don't kill the cow, but I really love eating steak. Yeah. No, that's good because you know what? I 
I don't eat as much steak as I used to, but I really love eating mm -hmm. steak, so therefore it's easier for me to to kill right. the animal. That, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah that, that has a big impact on why we do something, because I yeah. really love it. Yeah. It's harder to give it up. Do you think it's a good justification? It's, it's a realistic one. I mean, it courses through us, mm. you know, Pleasure it doesn't have to be massively hedonistic or outrageous, but it, it's you know we do something and the chemicals are released. Yeah. They th that exists within us, and that's why we do something. Um, but we've we've learned to we've we've learned to um, taper that because I think some people get pleasure out of being. Uh, mean or sadistic right. or, or or bullying someone it gives them some sort of might not be the healthiest of pleasures but it releases something that makes them feel something so right. doing things for pleasure is a perfectly natural thing and it's not necessarily leading to, th leading to something that's wrong but there are certain cases Justify. where there are certain cases where we do harm others does it cause harm yeah and i guess that's the, maybe um, that's the important thing do, yeah. do you think that think? buying animal products causes harm to what to animals buying the product yeah well that doesn't but what came before so, that so like um if if people stopped there's animal product in that there isn't actually uh, no, these are vegan no. yeah if people stopped buying the animal products would it affect the supply and demand oh yeah of course mm. massively do you think that when when people buy the animal product then they're increasing the the demand and therefore yes. more animals are being bred. Yes, yes, I do. What do you think is the the moral difference between the, like the cow and the human? What is it about the cow that makes it more acceptable to do the things we do to them? Um, because we can't survive without feeding off the land. The land doesn't need us. We do need the land. Could we imagine a like a London that's vegan and, and not breeding animals? Could that could that be something that could exist? Well, would the people who don't want to see animals be upset that the lions are eating gazelles and that the gazelles are eating the leaves and that the fish in the oceans eat each other? I think maybe some people could Why be upset. It's okay for them to eat each other, but it's not okay for us. Yeah. If, if a whale has to eat plankton and a shark has to eat a dolphin, yeah. why can't a human eat a shark? Do, do you think that humans do need to eat meat like carnivore, carnivores do? You mentioned like the, the wild animal suffering before and how animals eat other animals. I think from my perspective, I do care about their suffering too. Um, there could be... Are all your questions the same? Yes. For real? No, no, they are, right? <laughs> yeah, they are. I think they must be. It's, you, you, like, <laughs> this is definitely your thing. You yeah. know a lot about it. Yeah. There was this glint in your eye and I felt this like deep, sudden <laughs> passion towards your questions <laughs> rather than just, oh, yeah. I ask questions about everything. I do care about the suffering of wild animals. Yeah. There could be practical issues about what I could actually do to help. Um, but I'd rather that they didn't suffer. Um, I'd rather that animals weren't suffering in the wild from accidents or diseases or starvation or, or predation. Um, and I think it's something that you touched before is that it's about the harm and the, and the suffering. And I, I kind of have the same view. I think that ultimately what matters in the world is the well-being of everyone who lives here. And we want a world where there's more happiness, less suffering. Um, and the question... Yeah, I think I, I, a, a, a conscious action. Yes. If we can. Yeah. Because I guess we can be cruel without realizing if we're not being conscious about what we're doing. Let me give you a hypothetical. I let's really want my cocoa let's say we've on the, on this table we've got um, we've got two options for what you can eat. We've got uh, a vegan meal, yeah. like a curry, um, and we've got a button you can press and a de an animal will die in front of you and you can eat them. Um, which which do you think is the better option, morally speaking, to, to breed and kill the animal by pressing this button or to eat the vegan meal? Oh, I... Or a meal that is not... Yeah, not harming anyone. 100%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that, I would have no, absolutely no trouble with that. And why, I would, 
I would be, if I were actually given the choice and the option to be able to have two, then just because, I, I mean, I really, yeah, yeah, I could do that. I think humans adapt pr pretty well, actually, on many levels, and I think that if the world suddenly didn't have any animals, I don't think people would actually fall apart as much right. as they think they would. Right. Do you think there would be less suffering if, if yes. we were vegan? Yes. Yes, I think there'd probably be a lot less diseases as well. Do I think it's really bad if I was sort of living where I was, like we were in Africa and we killed the animal of the community, that that doesn't sort of bother me right, here. Right. But then when I had the conversation about, I have a choice right now not to be, I'm not in that community anymore, I'm right. in this one, yeah. so therefore can I either stop it, limit it, activate against it, you know, what could my next choice be, mm. then um